Okay, today we're doing our towel, our backsplash with our towel behind our stove here in this 1800's house. So we've got everything all prepared. We've put some tape down to make sure that we don't get any of our bleed over from our mortar. And we're going to be using this towel rope around the edge. And then we're using a, a marble uh, mosaic towel. And we're going to get started. So. First, we just put our mortar down and press our tiles in. And then we'll, we're using a V-notch trowel for this, and then we'll go back uh, with the grout later. So this is our mortar, our acrylic adhesive. It's just pre-mixed tile adhesive. Some people prefer to use where you mix it themselves. I, I don't feel like to see much difference, especially for a wall tile. So we're just going to use a pre-mixed already. It doesn't dry too quickly so we don't have to work too fast or anything. Spray out a nice even coat. We're just gonna start with a small section here first, and then we'll just kind of go in small sections. So. I hand me those rope pieces there. This is our great helper, Ed. Ed Brady. Hi. <laughs> I'm just kind of work it in and just stick it in right there. So this is our mosaic tile we're gonna put up here. We are gonna to have to cut some little ones that go in the sides here. So we'll put our first piece up and we'll just kind of press those in as we go. All right, so we're going to have to cut a few of these little mosaics to go in the corners up here. So what we're gonna do is just, I got you have to use a grease, a china marker or a grease pencil. And we're just gonna make a little mark on here. So we know kind of where we're gonna cut. They don't have to be incredibly straight because they're gonna, uh, the grout will fill, in, fill it in. So we're just gonna peel them off. We have this towel cutter uh, we bought from Home Depot. It has a little wheel on here, so we're just gonna make a little score with our uh, wheel. And then we just put it in here. Well, that didn't work out the way no. I wanted to. I'm gonna have to try to cut these on the saw. Since the towel nippers didn't work, we're going to use this wet saw. It's a wet towel saw that I got from Harbor Freight. Um, I did replace the blade with a diamond tipped skill blade that I bought from Lowe's or Home Depot. I, I can't remember which one, because uh, it was a little better than what people online said. It was a little better than the one that came with it. So um, it's just a really cheap little saw. I think it was like 40 or $50. But it, work, it works really good. So, um, so what we're gonna do is mark like where we want to cut. And the best thing to use on tile is a china marker. Don't know why it's called a china marker, but that's what it's called. Um, and you just mark on there. It's like essentially a crayon of some sort. You just mark on there like where you want to cut. So and we're gonna kind of just run it through there. So we fill, I filled the water tank up with about a half a gallon of water and it, it's a wet saw so it does run water on the blade so it doesn't spark. So we're just going to turn it on and cut it. We just line it up with where we want to cut it on the blade and just turn it on. So it's ready to go. Today I'm going to be teaching
teaching you how to grout tile. We laid this tile yesterday and now we just need to come back and put some grout in it. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So first we're just going to clear off any excess little pieces of mortar that are sticking out and just wiping it down real good and getting it good and clean. And according to the grout instructions, it says to dampen it lightly first. So the other thing we're doing is we're going to go back through and look for any spots where some of the adhesive has, has kind of poked out a little bit and just kind of scrape some of that out so that it gives the grout a good uh, joint to go into. Okay, and we're just going to start working a small area here. So we're going to be grouting this with this Fusion Pro Bright White Grout from Home Depot. We chose this because it's already a stain proof and color perfect. It doesn't need to be sealed or anything. So we're just going to uh, start putting it up. So we've got some uh, grout on our trowel. We're just going to start working it in to the joints. So I've got a tarp down on the ground to catch any of the grout that falls because it will kind of fall. It is a little bit messy. So we're just gonna keep working it in into the cold, into the cracks here. Get around this rope. There's no particular way to do it, just get it in there. So we're just gonna work in the small section first and kind of get it set. That's what they recommend on the can. And then we're gonna wipe it off with our um, with our sponge. Now we're gonna use a damp sponge to wring out the grout lines. I mean, it's just gonna wipe off all this grout. And I've got another sponge that's fairly, that's dry. I'm just gonna rub over that with the dry sponge just to get off any excess moisture. So after going over with the kind of dry sponge, we're just gonna let it sit for a little bit, for a couple minutes, and then go back over it again with a very damp sponge just to kind of get some of this haze off. And while that's dry, we're gonna go on to our next section here. Okay, I'm on to the next section. We've got all of our grout in and it's dried for overnight. So now we're gonna come back and remove the haze that the grout leaves on the tile. It's almost impossible to get it all off. If you zoom in, you can see it leaves just a little white haze. So we're going to use a, a yellow scrubby brush with a sponge. And then also I got this little Libman, just a, a scrub brush that you would use for dishes just to kind of help take it off. The, the regular tile sponge, it does a decent job of getting it off for the most part, but it doesn't work real fast. So we're going to use this other little brush and just kind of go over it. We don't even need to press real hard. And you can see it starts to remove that haze. We have to be careful. We don't want anything too stiff because we don't want to get in and dig out any of the grout. And then when we're done, we just go over and just kind of dry it off with this, the back side of the sponge just to get any excess moisture off. And we'll just keep going on the wall. We've had the backsplash done for a couple months now and it's held up really well. Uh, it still looks, it looks great. Um, so we used the towel saw to cut um, these bar pieces. And we also used it to cut some of the some of the straight pieces, but we also used it to cut these little pieces to fill in here and there. Turned out really good. It's held up really well so far. We've been really happy with it and gotten lots of compliments. This was about a three-day project. First day laid the tiles, cut them, laid them all. Uh, the second day went through and put the grout on. 
And the third day I uh, used to clean off the grout haze, which was a little more uh, time, time consuming than the rest. So if you have any other questions, uh, any uh, tips you want to ask for, just leave them all in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Bye. Visit Carolyn's Blooming Creations.com